Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Supreme Ruler Ultimate as Texas and our Shattered World start. Episode number two now. And this episode, sur surely we're going to war. We're going to war for sure. There's no... I mean, I'm almost embarrassed that I waited a full episode. I guess I wanted to give Guatemala a little bit of time to prepare. Um, so one of the things I did off camera was check through. We had like a thousand trade deals and I went through all of them. A lot of good ones offering us rubber. Some of them not offering at a good rate, and I, I did decline a few. Anyway, so war with Guatemala, what is that going to look like? I know that I think I, oh, I didn't even bother. <laughs> I was going to say, I think I started justifying war against them, but no, I did not. Looks like we're just going to go to war with Guatemala right away. And I don't think that there's any reason why we shouldn't just go to war immediately. Let me just do some shuffling of the troops, because again, I, I like to kind of preserve my elite units and throw in my non-elite units as fodder. But you know what? We don't even need to preserve, I mean, we, well, we'll end up preserving them, I'm sure, but we don't even need to organize them because I'll just send the, I'll send the uh, weaker forces in first. So there, we're at war now. There. Okay, look at all those <laughs> things I <laughs> I agreed to. Okay, Texas is a clear war in Guatemala. Nothing out of the ordinary there. South China has declared war on Tibet. That does not seem like a very fair fight. Let's get our patents moving forward, but you know, more than anything, I think we have these AMX. These guys need to move forward. So let me actually just grab one filter, grab all of them in view. You guys move forward. Okay, so on pause and here we go. Now, should we run some air cover? Let's find out. Well, they're going in. So we're probably gonna need some of the patents. Let me filter these as well. These are actually pretty good tanks too. So you know what? How are the Bradleys? I'm not sure I like these. 76 view range versus like, what's a striker give us? 41? Yeah, that is pretty good. Cause I know the Bradleys have really high um, attack for hard armor, well, hard targets. So I was thinking about maybe using them against these uh, oncoming forces, which look like they are, well, APCs, they should be hard targets. Um, I mean, the the tanks will just eat them up. Yeah, you know what, we'll use our, oh man, they're just they're getting decimated. Okay, and here comes their air force, so just in time for me to queue up mine, make sure that I'm only attacking an air, can set in this, the rules of engagement. I only want my F-15s attacking, destroying really. Their A-37B Dragonfly. Oh, looks like they <laughs> they're making all kinds of mistakes. Okay, they didn't even make it out. Um, my Eagles are taking some hits here. Presumably they have some AA in the area. And those are gonna be causing some some problems for my aircraft. Okay, so where are my, yeah, AMXs? Let's get all these guys. They're, they're all here, okay, great. And get our patents ready to move as well. And you know, we'll bring in our Falcons. The sky is mostly clear right now. They'll be able to do some damage as well. Boy, this probably need to slow this down even a little bit. Okay. Go a little bit slower just so we can figure out what's going on. These Falcons are really dishing it out. We do have some flanking forces. Let's just quickly get these guys squared away. Yeah, I'll send my M113s to deal with the flankers. It should be good enough. Okay, the Falcons are retreating. I don't think we're gonna have to worry about air cover after this. So I think that we already shot down all of their air force. I mean, I would be surprised if Guatemala has that big of one. So now the next step is just to push. This is a nice group. Let's have units move together at the same pace. This can move together as well. Need some units to start moving up. So Green Berets, all of these should be the ones to to attack the cities. So just have them start to move forward. Patents, you guys all move up together. 
So what's what's happening right now? Our AMXs are combating the armadillos, but they also have a whole bunch of light infantry, but those those guns are actually what I want to focus on here. Now, once we get a sizable number of patents together, I feel like that's going to be very difficult for the enemy to stop. Let's push that forward. Let's push, push these guys forward. We can take that out. Um, we could probably isolate this port as well. It looks like it is a seaport. Some friends coming in from that side. We'll push over here. That'll eliminate that unit and probably also kill that. You can see the... We'll kill this. What is it? Ranta RBY? Yeah, all their artillery units are trying to leave, but we're pushing in, I think, a little bit too quickly for them. Let's make sure we have support, and we'll get into a, a scuffle with that city now, moving that close. We do have Green Berets moving up, which will help as well. Let's get the artillery moving up. They are very potent. We get you guys to go down south like that. Striker Bradley, this is a good combination to move next to the city as well. Some do a little bit of territory capturing with those guys. Similarly with these. Um, yeah, why not you as well? Keep my heavy truck just kind of in the middle of things. Okay, we need to get these howitzers forward. They're just they're so powerful. Okay, move forward onto the road. Keep advancing. Steady as she goes. There's the Avenger. That's probably what was helping us out against those aircraft earlier. Uh, it's a shame, too, because the F 15s, they thirst. <laughs> they really wish they had gotten in on the action. Well, if they had moved a little faster, they would. Okay, it looks like Quetzal Tenango is now ours. We have our APCs, M 113s, moving up. Just move these guys all the way in. Is this a military base? Uh, no, it's still a village. Yeah, with that, we should be able to conquer that. I don't want the artillery moving in, so let's just grab the other three. Move them in. Leapfrogging along. We're almost at the capital already. This is not that big of a country. Okay, we've initiated the fight there. Let's get all of our help in here. In fact, I think I have. There they are, the Nighthawks. Bring the Nighthawk in. Nighthawks in for this mission. It's a sizable garrison. Looks like there's enough there that we'll want a little bit of aerial help. Okay, we prepare to move on the capital. Are we? Not yet. Okay, let's move in now because we are taking a bombardment, so every moment we wait, it's just more time for the, to bombard us. Are they both here? Oh, they are. Okay, well they're doing a great job. They're really helping out there. Oh, is that an Abrams taking some damage? No, no. We don't want to lose an Abrams. Put an alternative Abrams in. Okay, you move forward. Yeah, this is we got a ton of towed guns there. I don't want my F I want my F 16s to recover, but okay, let's set the Abrams up against to chase down the artillery. Speaking of artillery, yeah, we probably need to get these guys forward as well. Let's get them at least over here. Right next to that little water area. So they'll be a little bit protected, even. So, so far we lost just two AMXs right on cue. Morgan wants to give us coal. Why coal? We don't need it. Let me decline that. Pretty dangerous not to pause first actually in this game because it's pretty oh. It's pretty easy to accidentally accept something right as it comes in, instead of selecting the thing you wanted to select. Okay. Before Bradley move this guy over here. Well we got a whole bunch of units there. I think this is maybe a mistake, but we'll move in we'll move in with all of these units. What is taking my artillery so long to get into position? Okay, that was that was a brutal move. Let's get number three in here as well, the Nighthawks. We're almost pushing through on this. Getting there slowly, slowly, slowly. Recon Bradley will try to move that one back as well. 
say, preserve their life. And the Green Braze is really who we want taking the capital, so let's get these guys forward. Marines is also be good. Green Braze. Alright, and we have our Nighthawks on the station. They're doing good work. Okay, lost the other AMX. Yeah, this is a lot of artillery, but I feel like we can just... Yeah, we just need to head south, we can take those guys out. So this city has fallen to us, but as soon as we move in there, we're going to start attacking. Oh. Okay, that's fine. Oh, Mongolia and southern China have declared a ceasefire. It's a rare thing nowadays. Oh, that's not a good deal. Alright, so I was hoping we would really push on these guys put pressure on their artillery and kill them. So far, not exactly going as planned. Okay, but they're going to retreat into the wrong area, so should be okay. Huh. Um, we could probably move this whole force forward. And by forward, I mean down. Cut off these artillery... Should be the last of those. Yep, nowhere for them to run. Excuse me while I have some a hot beverage. Supply jar. Do we need does anybody need supply? I mean maybe the guys up here, but I think I don't think we have to worry too much. I think that as soon as we take their capital. I'm assuming things will just fold immediately. See, more artillery, which that is what I would really, really, really like to move forward. Okay, this is looking good now. Let's get this artillery here. And we'll move this unit forward. I wanted to do this kind of in conjunction with the move of the Green Berets in. It looks like this unit is going to have to move south since the Green Berets want to attack through the military center. And I, I don't know if we'll annex this or not, but... Well, might as well put some pressure on. Some good units. Uh, we don't need open units to go down here. We'll just have these guys who haven't done anything yet. Just have them attack. The artillery is now doing a good job beating back our um, Guatemala. Let's move here and bring our Nighthawks in once more. I think it's all over except for the crying at this point. Oh, look at that. What's that, you say? Something for my F-15s to go track down? My pleasure. Wow, they killed him from such a... <laughs> that was a long distance off. That was really cool to see. Uh, I don't think that they're going to relocate their capital. I think that they've been just so walloped, just so decimated. Huh, they still have good military approval. Yeah, I'm, I am surprised to see that. <laughs> oh, wow, that was easy. Took that no problem at all. All right, let's put the pressure on the capital now. Artillery. Let's move the other artillery up. I'm not sure that they're engaging. Anybody in good condition? These two. We'll move them down here. I believe that we're about to take Guatemala, but we'll find out in a moment. Anybody in terrible shape besides that AMX? No, we're all looking good. Just maybe this unit? Yeah, he's not engaged either, so we're okay. I'm surprised this artillery isn't bombarding more. You have a range of 41, so what is the deal? Huh. Okay, southern Germany and Volgograd. 
Thailand and India, all those people have reached cease fires. Well, let's not wait around for more people to spawn. We took their capital. All right, what's it gonna happen? We need reinforcements. Did they re? Oh man! Oh no, no, no! They haven't relocated yet. We have more diplomatic offers pouring in. Yeah, that, that's okay. That was a really good offer, I thought. Not as good, but we'll still accept it. Same thing for you. Uh, see, that's what I mean. They come in and, boy, if you click at the wrong time, you're going to accept the wrong trade gr uh, trade deal. I've done that for things I really, really didn't want. Now, what is the new capital? We took their capital. Okay, I took your capital a second time. <laughs> you would think that yeah, there it is. Okay, so do we want to annex it or do we want to colonize it? I might call, I might, I think I'm going to annex it for now. I'm going to annex it and I can always um, liberate it later. So Belize, Belize. Is it worth conquering Belize? They're not, they're not that important. I'm sorry, Belize. But El Salvador, this is somebody I can, <laughs> I guess I, it's kind of a waste of money to, to do it, but, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, we'll, we'll move on them next. But hey, I wanted to, to make sure that we got some war in, and then I did it. So, now we have to go back to the management of the government. So, enemy falls, we got 62 million from them, that's pennies. Oh, 143 the first time. That's a little bit better. Not by much. Alright. Yeah, that's an even deal. That's fine. And that's not an even deal, but I guess for Oregon we'll do it. Yep. Drop those. Yeah, so the reason why I annex is I think that we can repair this. It'll take a little bit of money. But we can repair this stuff and we can add whatever we want. Now you can generally add whatever you want to colonies too. The one thing I don't like is that when you add military bases, they become your territory. Um, yeah, I, I dislike that. So right now we can add military bases and all that and should go back to Guatemalan hands once we um, colonize it. The main reason I didn't want to colonize ex like I, I, immediately is just because they always hate you. <laughs> They're always so hostile towards you. Yeah, they really, really don't like us. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we still have some some of our military units limping in from the the Mexican War. We never deployed them. Do you have these MIGs? Our MI8s, um, Heinz. Gosh, couldn't think of it. Heinz is is Heinz twenty four or is Heinz eight? Yeah. Okay. Good. What's your recon range? One hundred thirteen. That's not that good. One hundred million a year. I can tolerate that. Hercules, what do you offer me? You have a cargo of 120, so at least you can carry a Green Beret. Temple dropping one Green Beret by itself, not hugely useful. Let's see how our research facilities are doing. About a year away. Yep, all of them just about a year away. Okay, so we can speed up again. Let's go to the second fastest. Hmm. Oh yeah, we started to close down some of these. So now that they're closed, let's... Oh, another war. India just declares war on everyone. Hmm. It's interesting, even though 
It's, <laughs> even though it's ocean, it's our territory, I don't think it should be. I wonder how that works. How does it work for these oil things if they're not in anyone's territory? Seems to me that it shouldn't be, I guess the territory should go back to nobody as soon as you don't build it, but no, maybe this, it should be the closest person. More diplomatic offers are coming in. Oh boy, a whole mess of them. Oh wow, you're offering me a lot. That's an, a big yes. You're not, but that's okay. You're also not, but this is for rubber, so I'll accept that. Uranium. Um, yeah, we'll take that. Metal ore, see how that dropped down right when I was about to click? Very dangerous. Uneven exchange. I don't know why they dislike me so much, but okay, let's get rid of a few of these. Let me just pause real fast. Get rid of these. Okay, we'll keep going now. Oregon just doesn't cut me any respect. Yeah, but neither does California, my goodness. Military goods, now that's interesting. Do I want to be selling military goods? Yeah, I do. But only for a profit. And they're not offering that. Oh yeah, they are. They're offering more than they're requesting. Okay. I will accept. <laughs> man. India and South China, man, they're just, they're warmongers. And that's, it's the right scenario for it, right? So good, we've um, we've eliminated Guatemala next on our list, and we honestly we should be prepping for Honduras as well. Nicaragua was not long after that. Then Costa Rica. Finally, Panama. We're coming. Anytime they're offering more than they're requesting, I think that's a good thing. Hmm. Well, they're requesting extra, but it's metal ore. I think metal ore is like something. Is that? Huh. Oh, wow. Barcelona has declared war on Madrid. Oh, no. Euro Cup 2020. Euro Cup 2021, I should say. <laughs> That's gonna be a fun little fight. We'll probably watch this one. Looks like it's it's happening really quick. <laughs> Barcelona is pushed almost all the way to the capital. Interesting that Barcelona and Portugal get along, but Madrid and Portugal don't. Man, it's a real back and forth. Can't really figure out who's winning this one. Looks like Barcelona. Yeah, that's Madrid territory. Yeah. Although those little pockets when they're eliminated, that's probably a bad sign. Troops getting cut off. I probably should be attending to my own. So the good news, we we inherited an airfield. More than one even. So we'll move our units forward. That's nice. And it looks like everything here is more or less repaired. Which is really fantastic. We've done the we've done a good job. Now, I think we picked up a few extra, yeah, two extra, which, should I just immediately go to Green Berets? There are 12 million in annual maintenance, which is not much. Yeah, if Marines are that expensive, that's crazy. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll continue to flood the, flood the ranks of, with Green Berets. 
I'm gonna have to just put a pause in the video every now and then to go through all these diplomatic offers. Let me leave them on the table for now. I'll come back to that in a second. Central Siberia has declared war on Papua New Guinea. A little bit unusual. Okay, so we have Milan and a supply truck. Let's get this Milan into the supply truck, which is I'm pretty sure what I what I intended to do there. Oh yeah, we didn't even bother with the the navy, did we? I don't even know if Nick or Guatemala had a navy, but well, if they did if they did before, they don't now. So San Salvador, El Salvador, you're probably next. This is just going to be a quick quick slog. I think the green berets are going to be really useful here. So, do we have green berets? Who do we have in reserve? We have a bunch of green berets and some stingers. I mean, these stingers are just awful. <laughs> Let's get them moving down here if we can, but it's going to be a slow, slow drag for them. Honestly, I don't even care. <laughs> oh my goodness. Paris and East Germany. Okay, that's East Germany. Wait. Southern. Okay, Sicily. Those are untouchable. Iceland, Volgograd, ceasefire. Hmm. Okay, well, nothing really to do about any of those. Looked interesting, but. Supply depot is completed here. Oh, that's right. We were redoing the roads. Yeah, so a lot of this game is this infrastructure maintenance type stuff. Well, I mean, you don't have to delete roads and redo them like I do. That's that's a little bit crazy. It's not even really min maxi as much as it is OCD. I don't like seeing very inefficient roads. I mean, imagine driving those. Ugh. Anyway, it looks like we have a road here which is just a dead end. Hmm. We could connect this thing and then connect this road. Is that worth it though? I don't, I honestly don't think so. Okay, the Super Hercules is our tanker. And I think I'm just gonna put this one to reserve. What's your cost? 1.2 billion, a bit pricey, but a little bit less pricey if it's in reserve. So we'll do that. Okay, Heinz. Hmm. South American? What the hell is this? Well, let's see if we can sell it. So we'll put it to reserve. Yeah, military-wise. I mean, um, land forces-wise. I think we're pretty good. So we fought off Mexico with this force. And all these other areas are going to have much smaller land masses. So... We should have a like a real strong density of forces, whereas we had to kind of thin out along the big Mexican border. All right, let me just pause real fast, deal with all these things, and we gotta take a look. By the way, at, oh yeah, they're holding their own. Okay, so let me pause and take care of all these diplomatic offers. Okay, I cleaned up all the deals, and then I forgot to I showed it to you, but uh, the recording was still paused. I'm a real ding dong. Anyway, I mean, this is just a whole bunch of deals. Metal ore, rubber, a couple for uranium, and I actually declined those because they weren't offering me a fair value. So right now it looks like agriculture, we're finally below, so that's good. We're finally below um, market value, so we can produce, we could actually sell for a profit, thank God. Oh boy, rubber's still not looking good, but at least our production is helpful. Yeah, uranium, same kind of deal. This one's closer, we'll accept that one. If they're within 10% or so, I'll probably consider their offer. The other one was like 30% lower. It's like, no, I don't think so. We'll have a use for that uranium eventually. <laughs> I hope not. Well, no, I, I think we'll end up using some nukes in this one. That'd be, I think that would be pretty fun. Yeah, so they're requesting more than they're offering. Metal ore. This one really tears at me. I don't really know, because it's so cheap. Sometimes I just want to let it go, just to maintain better relations. Let's decline, and oh god, it's just, you cut off one head. 
Three more take its place. Captured spy, too. Oh, Australia is spying on Texas. Mm. Rubber and rubber, and they're both yeses. Goes back to this one, which is Metalore. Well, you know what? What is it? Georgia? Because they kind of like us, I'll just accept. Southern Germany, Metalore. Yeah, that's fine. They're offering more than they're going to um, request from us. Let's move these sh ships up. They did absolutely nothing in the last conflict. And you're a troop transfer. I see you. I really want to send you to reserve. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. I can actually send these guys to reserve now that I have a port. Okay, you're just going to go here with the rest of the gang. I think that's it. Yep, that's all the naval assets in the area. Okay, it's probably time... Oh, we, we picked up some light infantry along the way. These poor fools. <laughs> going to have to fight. Let's get them organized. Ah, this is Mexican. Okay. So who do I, mean, I think we want our Green Berets. Let's just get every single unit we have of these. So filter, not by in view, but just by everyone. Make your way up to the front. That's why I want on the front lines this time. Hopefully things will go a little bit quicker because having them taking the cities, I think it'll happen pretty quick. A lot of ceasefires here. Serbia declared war in southern Germany. Doesn't strike me as a good idea, but it has happened. Denmark, Romania. Man, India's got a problem. <laughs> they got a real problem. Okay, well, let's. I'll continue to take these care of these diplomatic deals offline, but I think we're preparing now. We're maybe even nearly ready. Oh, Scorpion. Yeah, so we want to. Any new um, vehicles? Okay, the AT Milan is definitely going to go in the front. In fact, we'll take the same approach. Every one that I own should be over here. I'm probably going to move it forward too, because I imagine there's going to be a lot of uh, armored vehicles. Well, I mean, it depends on what El Salvador has, but if they have any military, there's going to be some hard targets. Let's give that AT Milan something to do. <coughs> They're all offering more than they're requesting. I like that. Except for you. I'll do it anyway. And yeah, I know, you're... Well, you're offering rubber, so it is worth it. You got me. You got me. Alright, let's just continue to move these units forward. Howitzer, okay. So artillery, that is another thing I want to make sure we get. All nice and lined up. Let's put one right here. So one, two, putting them here, damn it, it's not on high ground, but so maybe just put them here. Oh, review lines is okay. No, thank you. More war. Marseille declared war on Volgograd, Brazil, Guiana. Hmm. Take a look at the European, okay. Looks like Madrid's still doing, ah, maybe they got cut off themselves. Now Marseille declared war on Eastern Germany. Is that why we're not seeing the fronts move? Huh, captured a spy. Okay, well, to finish off this episode, I am gonna show what, what happens you get in the way of the U.S. and the Panama Canal. <laughs> no, we're not the U.S. You get in the way of Texas and the Panama, uh, Panama Canal. All right, let's do it. So are we in position? We have artillery, good. Green Berets are in fantastic position, but... Yeah, we're going to need to move some people forward. This might take a time, take some time. I'm like speaking gibberish. Um, 
Yeah, you know what? I think I will put the patents on the AMX on the front line. My rationale there is I expect the counter push to come and we're going to need those units to deal with it. Okay, good artillery. Move them up with the supply truck. Likewise. So we have two big um, piles of artillery, one behind the main push going through Santa Ana, and one just to support this action against Ahuacapan. Don't ask me if I said that correctly. Oh, okay, we're against airborne, so this, I mean, they could present a challenge. Maybe not a challenge, but, you know, they, they'll be, <laughs> they're going to be there. <laughs> it may not do much, but they, they're going to do something. Uzbekistan. Okay. So here we, we come to the big close of the episode. What's our current? Oh, wow. We have 70. Wow. Okay. Go. Just go. Okay. There it is. So in the next episode, we'll continue our war. <laughs> really start it against El Salvador. You can imagine that uh, Honduras isn't long for the world. Then we're only two, no, three nations away from reconquering the Panama Canal. So this may be a short series. No, I don't think so. I, I'm imagining that I can conquer maybe two of these in an episode. And then two of these and two of these. And then maybe we can start working on the United States. So for now, thanks for watching. And until the next episode, stay safe and take care.